Bengali Hindus Bengali, Banali Hindu are an ethnic, linguistic, and religious population who make up the majority in the Indian state of West Bengal and Tripura. In Bangladesh they form the largest minority. They are Bengalis adherents of Hinduism, and are native to the Bengal region in the eastern part of the Indian subcontinent. Bengali Hindus speak Bengali, which belongs to the Indo-Aryan language family and adhere to the Shakta and Vaishnava traditions of their native religion, Hinduism. There are significant numbers of Bengali-speaking Hindus in different Indian states. Around the 8th century, the Bengali language branched off from Magadhi Prakrit, a derivative of Sanskrit that was prevalent in the eastern region of the Indian subcontinent at that time. During the Sena period, 11th-12th century, the Bengali culture developed into a distinct culture within the Hindu civilization. Bengali Hindus were at the forefront of the Bengal Renaissance in the 19th century. The Bengal region was noted for its participation in struggle for the independence from the British rule. At the time of independence of India in 1947, the province of Bengal was partitioned between India and East Pakistan, part of the Muslim-majority state of Pakistan. Millions of Bengali Hindus migrated from East Bengal later Bangladesh and settled in West Bengal and other states of India. The migration continued in waves through the 50s and 60s, especially during the 1950 East Pakistan Genocide and the 1964 East Pakistan Riots. In 1971, during the Bangladesh Liberation War, an estimated 2.4 million Bengali Hindus were massacred by the Pakistani army. Estimates for the total number of people killed by Pakistan Army range from 300,000 to 3 million. Ethnonym The Hindus are a religious group, native to the Indian subcontinent, speaking a broad range of Indo-Aryan and Dravidian languages and adhering to the native belief systems, rooted in the Vedas. The word Hindu is popularly believed to be a Persian exonym for the people native to the Indian subcontinent. The word is derived from Sindhu, the Sanskrit name for the river Indus and it initially referred to the people residing to the east of the river. The Hindus are constituted into various ethno-linguistic subgroups, which in spite of being culturally diverse, share a common bond of unity. The word Bengali is derived from the Bengali word Bengali. The English word Bengali denoting the people as well as the language is derived from the English word Bengal denoting the region, which itself is derived ultimately from the Bengali word Vanga which was one of the five historical kingdoms of eastern India. According to Harivamsa, Bali, the king of the Asuras had five sons from his wife Sudeshna through sage Durgatama. The five sons namely Anga, Vanga, Kalinga, Pundra and Sumha went on to found five kingdoms of the same name in the eastern region of the Indian subcontinent. In ancient times Vanga proper consisted of the deltaic region between Bhagarathi, Padma and Madhumati, but later on extended to include the regions which now roughly comprise the Indian state of West Bengal and Bangladesh. In India, they tend to identify themselves as Bengalis while in Bangladesh they tend to identify themselves as Hindus. In the global context, the terms Indian Bengali and Bangladeshi Hindu are respectively used. In India, Bengali generally refers to Bengali Hindus, excluding a significant number of Bengali Muslims who are also ethnically Bengalis. The other is usually identified as non-Bengali, a term that generically refers to the Hindu people who are not Bengali-speaking, but sometimes specifically used to denote the Hindi-speaking population. Ethnology <inaudible> 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 The Bengali Hindus constitute of numerous endogamous castes, which are sometimes further subdivided into endogamous subgroups. 
The caste system evolved over centuries and became more and more complex with time. In the medieval period, several castes were boycotted by the ruling classes from time to time and this isolation continued till the 19th century. These social boycotts were somewhat discriminatory in nature. After the Renaissance, the rigidity of the caste system ceased to a great extent, so much so that the first celebrated intercaste marriage took place as early as in 1925. The Bengali Hindu families are patriarchal as well as patrilocal and traditionally follow a joint family system. However, due to the partition and subsequent urbanization, the joint families have given way to the nuclear families. The Bengali Hindus were traditionally governed by the Dayabhaga school of law, as opposed to the Mataksara school of law, which governed the other Hindu ethno-linguistic groups. In India, after the promulgation of the Hindu code bills, the Bengali Hindus along with other Hindus are being governed by a uniform Hindu law. There are two major social subgroups among the Bengali Hindus, the Gotis and the Bengals. The Bengali Hindus who emigrated from East Bengal Bangladesh at the wake of the partition and settled in West Bengal, came to known as the Bengals, while the native Bengali Hindus of West Bengal came to known as Gotis. For several decades after partition, these two social subgroups possessed marked difference in their accents and their rivalry was manifested in many spheres of life, most notably in the support for the football clubs of East Bengal and Mohan Bagan respectively. Several such differences have eased with passing years. History. Ancient period In the ancient times, some of the Bengali Hindus were seafaring people as evident from Vijay Singha's naval conquest of Lanka, the tales of merchants like Chan Sadagar and Dhanapati Saudagar whose ships sailed to far-off places for trade and establishment of colonies in South East Asia. By the 3rd century BCE they were united into a powerful state, known to the Greeks as Gongaridae, whose military prowess demoralized Alexander from further expedition to the east. Later the region of Bengal came under Maurya, Shunga and Gupta rule. In the 7th century, Shashanka became the independent Hindu ruler of Gauda. He successfully fought against his adversaries Harshavardhana and Bhaskaravarmana and protected the sovereignty of the people. <inaudible> <inaudible> medieval period In the middle of the 8th century, the Bengali Hindu nobility democratically elected Gopala as the ruler of Gauda, ushering in an era of peace and prosperity in Bengal, ending almost a century of chaos and confusion. The Buddhist Pala rulers unified Bengal into a single political entity and expanded it into an empire, conquering a major portion of North India. During this time, the Bengali Hindus excelled in art, literature, philosophy, mathematics, sciences and statecraft. The first scriptures in Bengali Charyapada was composed during the Pala rule. The Pala were followed by the Sinas who made far-reaching changes in the social structure of Bengali Hindus, introducing 36 new castes and orthodox institutions like colonism. The literary progress of the Pala and Sena period came to a halt after the Turkish conquest in the early 13th century. Except for Harita's Dada's Manasar Basin no significant literary work was composed for about a century after the conquest. Even though the ruling classes resisted the invaders, Gauda, the centre of Bengal polity, fell to the Islamic invaders. During this period hundreds of temples and monasteries were desecrated. The next attack on the society came from the Islamic missionaries. Local chieftains like Akananda, Dakshin Ray and Mukit Ray, resisted the missionary activities. 
The Pathan occupation of Bengal was limited to the region of Gauda, the rest of which was held in sway by different Bengali Hindu rulers. Islam religion gradually spread throughout the Bengal region, and many Bengali Hindus were forcefully converted to Islam. In the early 15th century, the Pathan rule of Gauda was overthrown by the Bengali Hindu nobility under the leadership of Ganesha. When the Delhi-based Mughals tried to bring Bengal under their direct rule, the Bengali Hindu chiefs along with some Bengali Muslims consolidated themselves into confederacies and resisted the Mughals. After the fall of the confederacies, the Mughals brought a major part of Bengal under their control, and constituted a subha. Early modern period During the decline of the Mughal Empire, Nawabs of Bengal who were Muslim ruled a large part of Bengal. During the reign of Alavardi Khan, a Nawab, the severe taxation and frequent raids made the life miserable for the ordinary Bengali people. A section of the Bengali Hindu nobility helped the British East India Company in overthrowing the Nawab Siraj Ud Dalla regime. After obtaining the revenue rights, the East India Company imposed more oppressive taxation that led to the famine of 1770, in which approximately one third of the Bengali population died of starvation. The British began to face stiff resistance in conquering the semi independent Bengali Hindu kingdoms outside the pale of Muslim occupied Bengal. In some cases, even when their rulers have been captured or killed, the ordinary people began to carry on the fight. These resistances took the form of boomage, sure as a derogatory term used by the English to denote the boomage, and paik rebellion. These warring people were later listed as criminal tribes and barred from recruitment in the Indian army. In 1766, the British troops were completely routed by the sannyasis and fakirs or the warrior monks at Dinhada, where the latter resorted guerrilla warfare. Bankam Chandra's Anandamath is based on the famine and consequential sannyasi rebellion. Topic British rule, Renaissance, struggle for independence According to author James Jeremiah Novak, as British rulers took power from Bengal's ruling Muslim class, they strategically catered to Bengali Hindus a majority in Bengal region at that time. The British rule destroyed the bases of Bengali Muslim society. Bengali Hindus got favours from the British rulers, and experienced development in education and social mobility. In the 19th century, the elite class of Bengali Hindu people underwent radical social reforms and rapid modernization. The phenomenon came to be known as the Bengal Renaissance. Public media like press and theatres became vents of nationalist sentiments, apolitical organisations had given way to political platforms, secret revolutionary societies emerged and the society at large became restive. With rising nationalism among Bengali Hindus, the British rulers applied divide and rule policy, and started to make favours to Bengali Muslims. To keep the rising Bengali Hindu aspirations at bay, the British partitioned the province in 1905 and along with some additional restructuring came up with two provinces, Eastern Bengal and Assam and Bengal itself, in each of which the Bengali Hindus were reduced to minorities. The Bengali Hindus, however, opposed to the partition tooth and nail, embarked on a political movement of Swadeshi, boycott and revolutionary nationalism. On 28 September 1905, the day of Mahalaya, 50,000 Bengali Hindus resolved before the mother at Kalahat to boycott foreign goods and stop employing foreigners. The British Raj finally annulled the partition in 1911. The Raj, however, carried out some restructuring, and carved out Bengali Hindu majority districts like Manbam, Singbam, Santal Pargana, and Purnia, awarding them to Bihar and others like Kachar that were awarded to Assam, which effectively made the Bengali Hindus a minority in the United Province of Bengal. The Britishers also transferred the capital from Calcutta to New Delhi. 
The revolutionary movement gained momentum after the partition. Bengali revolutionaries collaborated with the Germans during the war to liberate British India. Later the revolutionaries defeated the British army in the Battle of Jalalabad and liberated Chittagong. During the Quit India movement, the revolutionaries liberated the Tamluk and Kontai subdivision of Midnapur district from British rule and established the Tamralipta National Government. The British, unable to control the revolutionary activities, decided to hinder the Bengali Hindu people through administrative reforms. The Government of India Act 1919 introduced in the 144-member Bengal Legislative Assembly, 46 seats for the Muslims, 59 for the institutions, Europeans and others and left the rest 39 as general, where the Bengali Hindus were to scramble for a representation. The situation worsened with the Communal Award of 1932, where in the 250-member Bengal Legislative Assembly a disproportionate 119 seats were reserved for the Muslims, 17 for Europeans, Anglo-Indians and Indian Christians, 34 for the institutions, and the rest 80 were left as general. The communal award further divided the Hindus into scheduled caste Hindus and caste Hindus. Out of the 80 general seats, 10 were reserved for the scheduled castes. In response the leading Bengali Hindu landholders, lawyers and professionals signed the Bengal Hindu Manifesto on 23 April 1932 rejecting the justification of reservation of separate electorates for Muslims in the Bengal Legislative Assembly. In 1946, the Muslim League supporters started a series of violent attacks against Hindus in Kolkata in the name of Direct Action Day, which escalated into the bloodiest communal riots between Hindus and Muslims of modern India. After the initial attacks, rapes and killings by Muslims, Bengali Hindus joined hands with Sikhs and non-Bengali Hindus in attacking Muslims and ultimately it turned out to be a violent reprisal that resulted in heavy casualties of Muslims, finally forcing the government to stop the mayhem. Later in the year, the Muslim League government orchestrated the infamous Nokali genocide. The Direct Action Day and the Nokali genocide prompted the Bengali Hindu leadership to move for the creation of a Bengali Hindu majority province by partitioning Bengal. At that time, the movement for creation of Pakistan was in full swing and Bengal was supposed to form one of its constituent provinces. After the failure of United Bengal Plan when it became evident that all of Bengal would go to Pakistan, the Bengali Hindus voted for the partition of Bengal. On 23 April 1947, the Amrita Bazar Patrika published the results of an opinion poll, in which 98.3% of the Bengali Hindus favoured the creation of a separate homeland. The proposal for the partition of Bengal was moved in the Legislative Assembly on 20 June 1947, where the Hindu members voted 58-21 in favour of the partition with two members abstaining. The Boundary Commission awarded the Bengali Hindus a territory far less in proportion to their population which was around 46% of the population of the province, awarding the Bengali Hindu majority district of Kulna to Pakistan. However, some Bengali Muslim majority districts such as Murshidabad and Malda were handed to India. <laughs> Post-partition period After the partition, the majority of the urban upper class and middle class Bengali Hindu population of East Bengal immigrated to West Bengal. The ones who stayed back were the ones who had significant landed property and believed that they will be able to live peacefully in an Islamic state. However, after the genocide of 1950, Bengali Hindus fled East Bengal in thousands and settled in West Bengal. 
In 1964, tens of thousands of Bengali Hindus were massacred in East Pakistan and most of the Bengali Hindu-owned businesses and properties of Dhaka were permanently destroyed during the Liberation War of Bangladesh. An estimated 2.4 million Bengali Hindus were massacred in Bangladesh. The Enemy Property Act of the Pakistan regime which is still in force in the new incarnation of Vested Property Act, has been used by successive Bangladeshi governments to seize the properties of the Hindu minorities who left the country during the partition of India and Bangladesh Liberation War. According to Professor Abul Barkat of Dhaka University, the act has been used to misappropriate 2,100,000 acres 8, square kilometers of land from the Bengali Hindus, roughly equivalent to the 45% of the total landed area owned by them. The refugee rehabilitation became an acute crisis, and hundreds of refugees were rehabilitated in the inhabitable terrains of Orissa, Chhattisgarh, Uttar Pradesh, and the Andamans. Apart from that thousands of Bengali Hindus had also immigrated to Assam, Tripura and other regions of the North East. In the Barak Valley region of Assam, where the Bengali Hindus were in a majority because of the inclusion of Silhet into Pakistan, and subsequent immigration of Bengali Hindus from Silhet into Kachar, an impasse was arrived at on the question of language. The government of Assam had unilaterally imposed Assamese as the sole medium of education. In response, the Bengali Hindus began peaceful demonstrations demanding Bengali as the optional medium of primary education in the Barak Valley region. The situation took an ugly turn on 19 May 1961, when 11 Bengali Hindu protesters including a minor girl were gunned down by the police at the Silchar railway station. Subsequently, the Assam government allowed Bengali as the medium of education in Barak Valley. However, the rise of ethnic militancy in the 80s and 90s once again made the Bengali Hindus vulnerable in the North East. The United Liberation Front of ASOM, National Democratic Front of Bodoland, Muslim United Liberation Tigers of Assam and National Liberation Front of Tripura militants have selectively targeted the Bengali Hindu people, prompting the latter to form the Bengali Tiger Force. Discrimination against Bengali Hindu population is not limited to the North East. In Jharkhand, the Bengali Hindu demand of making Bengali the second official language has not been met, in spite of the fact that the Bengali Hindu population forms the second largest linguistic group in the state. They constitute almost 40% of the population in Jharkhand. Most of the Bengalis of Jharkhand are the Bhumiputras or the original settlers in the region. In Bihar, many Bengali Hindu refugees are denied land owning rights and caste certificates. On the other hand, massive infiltration from Bangladesh has substantially altered the demography in West Bengal so much so that Bengal Hindus have been reduced to minorities in the border regions and occasionally, there have been violent clashes between Muslim and Hindu mobs in Bengal. Geographic <laughs> <laughs> distribution <laughs> Bengali Hindus constitute a minority ethnic group of the total population in both Bangladesh and India, forming less than 10% of the population in both countries. From the 60s onward, like many other ethnic groups of India, many Bengali Hindus began to emigrate outside India, mostly to pursue higher studies or in search of lucrative careers. This gave rise to a sizable expatriate Bengali Hindu population in many parts of the world. Bengali Hindus form a majority in West Bengal, with a population of 64,385,546 while in Bangladesh, Bengali Hindus are the second largest community with a population of 14,112,218 
before India became independent, the city of Dhaka present capital of Bangladesh had a significant number of Bengali Hindus, but their numbers have since considerably dwindled, being outnumbered by Bengali Muslims. Bengali Hindus are at present the second largest community after Muslims in Dhaka at 1,476,184 Topic: Indian states other than West Bengal. Bengali Hindus are the second largest community in Assam with a population of 3 million, 9.12%. They are concentrated in the Barak Valley region. As per 2011 census, Bengali speaking population of Assam is a little above 91 lakhs, which is about 29% of the total population of Assam. About 31% of the Bengali-speaking people are Hindus. In Jharkhand the Bengali Hindu population is 2.5 million In Tripura, Bengali Hindus form the majority due to immigration of from neighbouring East Pakistan during 1971 as a result Tripura become a Bengali majority state. Bengalis comprise nearly 59.81% of the state population which is around 2.19 million respectively whereas tribals are 40.92% of the state population which is around 1.63 million as of 2011. There is also a significant number of Bengali Hindus residing in the Andaman and Nicobar Islands, estimated approximately 100,000 comprising 26% of the population. Bengali is also the most widely spoken language in the Andaman and Nicobar Islands, despite it lacking official status. Outside Indian subcontinent. UK has a huge portion of Bengali Hindu population. Former cricketer Isa Guha and Rona Mitra are prominent descendants of Bengali Hindu diaspora. Topic: Culture. Topic: Economy. Bengali Hindu society used to be caste-oriented throughout centuries and the professional status of men depended exclusively on the hierarchical caste divisions. Some professions such as weaving, pottery, carpentry, blacksmithing etc. have always been carried out by special Hindu caste groups in Bengal. In traditional Bengali Hindu society, nearly every occupation is carried on by a ranked hierarchy of specialized caste groups not only artisan occupations but also personal and domestic service functions such as barbering, laundering, latrine cleaning as well as non-menial tasks such as priesthood. However, with the introduction of British rule and appearance of urban civilization, the former rural agrarian and artisan economy gradually crumbled and gave way to modern middle class economy. However, agriculture, land tenure, farming, and fishing form the predominant economic activity in most of the rural area till now. A small but significant section of rural people carry out small trades and businesses. In urban and semi-urban areas, most of the people are engaged in business, industry, government and private service sectors, self-employing works and intellectual pursuits. Unemployment has persisted in a certain minuscule section of the community. <laughs> <laughs> Literature The proper Bengali literary history begins with the early Vaishnava literature like the Shri Krishna Kirtana and the Vaishnava Padavalis followed by translation literatures like Ramayana and Sri Krishna Vijaya. In the medieval period literary works on the life and teachings of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu were composed. This period saw the emergence of Shakta Padavalis. 
The characteristic feature of Bengali Hindu literature in the Middle Age are the Mangalkavyas, that glorify various Hindu gods and goddesses often using folkloristic backgrounds. The early modern period saw a flurry in the literary activity especially after the emergence of the Bengali press. The first Bengali prose Raja Pratapaditya Charitra was written during this time. The Renaissance saw a rapid development in modern Bengali literature. Most of the epics, poems, novels, short stories and dramas of the modern classical literature were written during this period. The Bengal Literary Society that later came to be known as Bangya Sahitya Parishad was founded. The literary development during the Renaissance culminated in Rabindranath's Nobel Prize for Literature. In the post-partition period, the Bengali Hindus pioneered the hungry generation, Natan Kabita and the little magazine movements. Of late, some of them have made their mark in contemporary English literature. Art The Kalahat school of painting flourished in Bengal in the early modern period, and especially after the first paper mill was set up in 1809. During the rise of nationalism in the early 20th century, the Bengali Hindus pioneered the Bengal school of art. It provided the artistic medium of expression to the Hindu nationalist movement. Though the Bengal school later gave way to modernist ideas, it left an enduring legacy. In the post-liberalization phase of India, modern art acquired a new dimension as young artists like Devajyothi Ray, Sudip Roy and Paresh Maiti started gaining international recognition. Devajyothi Ray is known for introducing pseudorealism, which is one of the most original genres of Indian art today. Religion The Bengali Hindus generally follow the beliefs and practices that fall under the broad umbrella of Hinduism. Majority of them follow either the Shakta or the Vaishnava traditions, and some follow a synthesis of the two. The minor traditions include Shaiva etc. A significant minority is atheist who do not follow any rituals. Brahmoism is also found among Bengali Hindus. A part of the parent tradition, the Bengali Hindus usually affiliate themselves to one of the many sects that have come to be established as institutionalized forms of the ancient Guru Shisha traditions. Major amongst them include the Ramakrishna Mission, Bharat Sevashram Sangha, Bajoy Krishna Goswami, Anukal Thakur, Matua, Iskan, Gaudiya Math, Ananda Marga, Ram Thakur etc. Festivals <inaudible> 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 According to a famous Bengali proverb, there are 13 festivals in 12 months. Bengali Hindus celebrate all major Indian festivals. The year begins with the Bengali New Year's Day or Pahela Boishak which usually falls on 15 April. Traditional business establishment commence their fiscal year on this day, with the worship of Lakshmi and Ganesha and inauguration of the Halkata ledger. People dress in ethnic wear and enjoy ethnic food. Poila Baishak is followed by Rabindra Janti, Rath Yatra and Janmash Tasami before the commencement of the Pujas. The Puja season begins with the Vishwakarma Puja and is followed up by Durga Puja, the greatest and largest Bengali Hindu festival. It is commemoration of the victory of the good over the evil. According to Khandi Purana, goddess Durga killed Mahishasura, the evil demon and saved the Devas. Rama the prince of Ayodhya invoked the blessings of goddess Durga in a battle against Ravana of Lanka. Durga Puja is the commemoration of Rama's victory over Ravana and it ends in Bajoya Dashami. Durga Puja is followed by Kojagari Lakshmi Puja, Kali Puja, Bhai Fanta, Jagadatri Puja. 
The winter solstice is celebrated a Posh Sankranti in mid-January, followed by Nataji Janti and Saraswati Puja. The spring is celebrated in the form of Dolyatra or Holi. The year ends with Charak Puja and Gajan. See also East Bengali refugees Hinduism in Bangladesh Hinduism in West Bengal Bengali Hindu diaspora equals equals notes <laughs>